Hey guys, welcome to Homesteading with the Heberts. Today what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and convert this uh, dresser that's behind me uh, or just renew this dresser. So again, here's the dresser that we got. We got this relatively cheaply. All right, one of the problems we have with this is these drawers have pretty much fallen out. The, the way this dresser was designed, they had rails that it was supposed to glide on right here. Um, but the rail that was on this part of the drawer came off. So we're gonna have to fix that and we're also gonna recolor it. You can see this, the pink on it. I think that was the glue. That's correct. All right. All right, so one of the first things we're gonna do is we're gonna clean up this drawer a little bit in order for paint to stick to it. So we're gonna go ahead and hit real quick with a light sand. No, I'm going to yep. wipe it. I wipe it. Let's paint it. Just got it neatly and nicely wiped. The what are you wiping it down with? Thing, uh, wet, uh, not too wet, but a damp rag okay. or towel. Not so close. So this is the way the drawers used to work. All right, you used to open them up, but they would fall down like this. And the reason for that is underneath them, they have this railing here on them. Well, this rail is all chipped and broken off here, so it's no longer grabbing this rail here. So the way we're gonna repair this is instead of trying Okay, guys, so one of the problems I'm going to have is this rail. When I put it on, it's not going to necessarily fit because I'm putting uh, new slides on. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and remove these, all of these slides. And I'm going to cut new boards out of old flooring, you know, just scrap flooring that I have. So I cut a little groove on this side. I'll show you how I did that here in a minute. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take the board that I know is the right length. I'm gonna take another piece of scrap that I have. I'm gonna cut it down to size. And now I'm gonna make the groove that I need. And all I'm gonna do is take the saw, cut into it a little bit, but hold it at a height and just move the board. And 
then I'm just going to slide it. I went ahead and removed the old slide off of this one. I'm not going to worry about all this glue, but I'm just going to take the board with the notch that I made. I'm going to slide it up into this notch just like this. And flush it down. Make sure it's nice and tight. I'm just going to nail it in. Make sure I didn't go on this side. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Didn't go on the inside, so we're good there. And that's just going to give a nice smooth area for it to glide on. And more importantly, the reason I'm putting this here is to support this bottom so that the bottom doesn't end up coming out over time. So that's going to help with the support. So we're going to go ahead and do that to all of them. I'll show you how I'm making these. So the way that we're going to repair this is instead of trying to recreate the same rail system, I went ahead and I got some of these cheap old rails. And we're going to go ahead and mount these into the uh, cabinet. Now the problem we have here is there's a lot of gap. As you can see, there's about an inch and a half on each side. So these are not gonna be able to be installed up against the wall. So I went ahead and I got the brackets to install to the back of the uh, dresser and that's gonna help out. So we'll show you how we do this. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna attach this to the back of the wall here. And the easiest way to do that is gonna be just to slide this on just like this. You just put it in and it just slides right in. Just like that. All right, and then we're just gonna lay it flat. Now it does have a little bit of an upward angle here. Ideally, you would make this flat. However, this slight of an angle is not gonna make that much of a difference for us just because of the, um, the way these drawers are cut. If it raises up in the back, it's not gonna be an issue. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and find the position. We want it right about there. We're gonna go ahead and drill a pilot hole. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and drill, drill a pilot hole here. Right there, and one under it. Right there. And we're gonna go ahead and screw that down. So I'm just going to start these by hand. And the reason I'm starting them by hand is because the backing that it's on here is only about an eighth of an inch thick, uh, maybe a quarter of an inch. And these screws are not going to, they're going to end up going through the back. All right, so I got my two pilot holes. One's here and one's here. I'm gonna take a little strap that's gonna go over both of them. I'm gonna hold that down and I'm gonna screw in the screws from the other side. Now that's gonna stay on there nice and tight. But that's just gonna prevent my screws from coming on to the back side of the boards. So I've got two rails in. So this one we can use the larger screws and we're just gonna go ahead and screw it in here.
there we go now we just gotta do the other side facing in and on the outside of the drawer so this is in it so this is the one that's gonna go on I'm gonna side mount these so just like anytime you're drilling into thin wood it's best to pre-drill we're just gonna pre-drill a little here And I figure three screws should be plenty. One in the middle, one on each end. I had already pre-drilled this one in this drawer, so. There we go. I'm gonna flip it over and do the same on the other side. Pre-drill our holes. And as I showed you earlier on the other drawer, I'm gonna go ahead and attach this bottom piece that we just made, slide it in. And like that, I just need a battery. Front. Now we're going to take it, just going to pop it in the front here on each side and slide it in. And there we go. It's on an angle coming down, so it's obviously going to fall down towards me, but it's going to stop and much sturdier. There's the finished dresser, guys. Go ahead and open the drawer. Show them how it works different.